What's up, Goldbacks? Welcome back to another episode of The Game Clock. I'm your host, Swagmaster Flex, and let's get straight into it. So today is Thursday, March 25th, which means today is deadline day. The deadline actually passed at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, so I'm here to give you all the big trades that happened and what it means for the teams going forward. The first significant trade of the day came when the Denver Nuggets sent Isaiah Hartenstein and two future protected second-round picks to the Cleveland Cavaliers for center JaVale McGee. I'm a fan of this trade because it adds some backup behind MVP candidate Nikola Jokic. However, don't be surprised if we see the, the two on the court simultaneously. Due to Jokic's versatility, he could easily play the four and have McGee run five if they need the height. The next big move came when the Bulls landed Nikola Vucevic and Al Farouk Amino for Otto Porter, Wendell Carter Jr., and two first-round picks. This sets Chicago up with two All-Stars in Zach Levine and Vucevic, and obviously two All-Stars for a franchise who has lacked relevance since the D-Rose MVP days is always a huge positive. Now let's remember, D-Rose won the MVP back in the 2011 season, so it's been quite some time since Chicago's made any noise. So they these moves here set them up to make some noise, which is good. Um, the Nuggets then made another big move when they sent Gary Harris, RJ Hampton, and a first round pick to the Magic for Aaron Gordon. Some fans may think that the Nuggets gave up too much at the deadline. However, I disagree. The Nuggets have a potential MVP and a young star who has proven himself in the postseason in Jokic and Jamal Murray, but they were missing the third offensive piece. Remember, the Nuggets made it to the Western Conference Finals in the bubble, so they needed to make moves to take them to that next level. In order to do so, you have to give to get, and I think they did just that, arming themselves for the war zone that is the Western Conference. Now, arguably, the biggest news to come out of this year's deadline was right at the final seconds, when Houston traded Victor Oladipo to Miami for Avery Bradley, Kelly Olenek, and a draft swap. This easily makes the Heat the winner of the deadline. The Heat, who took the championship Lakers to six games, now adds a young star who's averaging over 20 points a game and only had to give up two de decent role players. The Houston GM just got robbed again. Well, that's all I have for you this week. The Knicks play the Wizards tonight, looking to sweep this two-game meeting. So look out for that. Thanks you, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.